Welcome to Startup Health Now. We are with serial entrepreneur extraordinaire uh, Roberto Escaglioni, uh, CEO and founder of Healthware International. Great to have you here. Uh, just in from Italy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so, for having me. So welcome. You know, to kick off the conversation, um, we met years ago, uh, yes. part of the early adopter crew in, in digital health and health innovation. Uh, let's learn a little bit about you. Who are you? Um, what do you care about? What drives you? Cool. So, I mean, uh, uh, that what sounds new to you given we, you know, go a long way back, but I am studied as a physician and I grew up with these two passions. So on one side, you know, kind of healthcare, so being a physician, family left and right, moms, dads, old physicians, grandson, uh, grandfathers, uh, old physicians. So basically I grew up with that and with the computer science passion. So I started to do my early coding uh, back, uh, I was like uh, 12, 13 years old, whatever, with the logo by MIT, the turtle kind of language. So growing up with that, that um, was like forward ten, right ninety, exactly. Maybe make yeah, a square exactly, by the exactly. end of it. Exactly. And guess what? The first thing is I was kind of programming the tattoo to draw where kind of the heart and kind of bones and stuff that I was hearing from my parents, you know, as a, 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 in the field of healthcare. So, you know, growing up, uh, I decided to go to the medical school, and given everything was analog, which to some extent <laughs> we could argue still is. I, I started to try to figure out how to combine these my two passions, you know? and then all of a sudden I started to say, if I will become a great physician, I'll have an impact on several thousand people, but if I write code for physicians, software, then the impact might be much bigger. That was like my kind of moment of kind of fruit and, and the, the vision. And then I said, okay, so that's what I will do. I'll combine these two things, I will do that. Then I suddenly realized there was no job for that 20 years ago. And so I founded Healthware out of healthcare software. So we just write software to address, you know, healthcare issues. And where did you found? That was in uh, Naples, Italy, in Naples. Uh, south of Italy. And uh, people thought I was crazy, much better to just be a regular physician, you know, just like uh, that. And, uh, but we, we, we started to get early traction. You know, you can imagine back then it was more like, uh, like medical records, a little bit of workflow management, that kind of stuff. Then we discovered the web. 97, 98, we started to create what today we would call disease management programs and disease awareness websites and stuff like that. It was super early on, so there was all kind of discovery. So we quickly started to get international traction already in 99. We were like in San Fran and other places, uh, you know, all over Europe, started to do our first project. And the company kept growing and, uh, you know, we, we basically, you know, unfolded into the company that is uh, that is today. And this July, uh, 2017 is 20 years. 20 of years, congratulations. Thank you. So tell us about, you know, how's the company now? It's obviously evolved in extraordinary ways over the past 20 years. Um, you're, you're doing things all over the world, all over Europe. Um, tell us about where you are now. Yeah, so basically, <clears throat> what, 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 what really happened is that we spot the digital technologies as a great way to interact and engage with physicians and with consumers and patients early on. So we started to do all these kind of programs that quickly started to get adopted into the, uh, the clients where and are mainly kind of uh, life sciences, uh, pharma companies, medical device companies. So we've been always pioneering these things. Uh, so when iPhone came out, we had the first apps and then iPads, and, and, and so we applied all of this to main, to the, in the beginning to literally digital transformation of the industry. So it was mainly about how to engage with audiences, how to provide uh, new ways to do medical education and patient engagement, and so on and so forth. But given where we were coming from, uh, back 2007, 8, when we start to, to, to meet to the first times, uh, this whole concept that then, you know, kind of bubbled up into the kind of digital health uh, was starting to come up. And for us, it was a kind of a, almost an immediate kind of click, you know? So we said, cool, so if, we, if a website can make people more aware of a certain condition that empowers, you know, people to take a more kind of responsibility, that is probably more than just communication and marketing. That is a healthcare intervention uh, as now we kind of, you know, are all in agreement with. So we started to, to, to look at things in that way. And as more technology would, you know, were coming up and, and the kind of wearables and more kind of data-driven things and more kind of open APIs, you know, that kind of stuff, we started to constantly 
add data elements within that programs. So while on one side, that draw massive digital transformation for these big clients that we are enjoyed and we are still enjoying to service kind of globally to really reach audiences in much more meaningful way, take action and run uh, sophisticated programs in disease management or uh, patient support or clinical trial and so on and so forth. We started to really <clears throat> evolve these programs into real interventions. So all the concepts of the day of kind of digital therapies or digital biomarkers, uh, predictive analytics about behavioral modification programs, all of that is kind of, it, it came very natural to us. Yeah? So we started to uh, do more and more work into the digital innovation space until we launched a couple of years ago a vertical within our team called Altware Labs that is an innovation agency. So right. it works both for uh, innovation teams and large scale companies to help them with their innovation needs, whatever they could be. And more recently, but with a lot of traction for startups at different stages, as they basically embrace more the needs of kind of real companies, you know, and need to take care of the many different aspects that we are helping with. Yeah, I wanted to, to ask you about that because I know we're going to be doing some work together to help health transformers at different stages uh, through really leveraging these types of services and solutions to get them ready uh, for the market. Maybe just touch on that a little. Yeah, sure. Um, because I think it's very important, the packaging of these, these early companies, uh, the storytelling component, the branding component is so key at the early stages of getting off the ground. Yeah. I think there, 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 are, there are a couple of aspects to it that we just kind of, number one, didn't predict and we kind of learned by just hanging out with founders. Uh, because we are super founder friendly, you know, coming from the same kind of background, and uh, and of course, you know, uh, you know, being seen as, as 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 you are very kind of old, you know, in in the space because we have been there since the beginning. I feel old. Uh, it's I feel uh, so old. <laughs> and it's still the beginning, by the way. But we'll touch base on that later. Uh, so there is clearly a, 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 you know a, a vast you know community of people that you know kind of you interact with and ask advice and so on and so forth. So what we learn is that till a certain stage of the company, your product is the pitch and your customer is the basically you know, investor, right? And at some point, you either start to get traction or you get funding, but what, whatever, at some point, you need to go back to the product, uh, the real one, and which value are you adding, and the audience might be you know, patients, consumers, physicians, doesn't matter, but you know, the real customers of what you're doing. And when that happens, then you start to, to deal with uh, oh, how I'm reaching them, how I'm you know, kind of you know, getting more traction. To and, really go and, back and, and, and refine, yeah, revise. And, and how you communicate, and, and what's your, you know, if you want to say properly, or what's your or messaging branding platform, uh, what are the added values, and how you communicate in a way that is kind of concise and clear uh, what the added values are. So when you start to deal with that, that is called marketing, and then you need, you need a ton of design, and you need to create your experiences. And, and when it comes to that, it's no different than any other company. Of course, you know the way you're working is different. We we want <clears throat> we don't work with a with a startup company with 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 founders um, as we would work for a large scale company because needs are different. But the kind of intervention uh, is proving to be very, uh, very important because basically accelerates. You know, we know a lot of is about time and All speed, right. so that kind of services help through that phase. And that you know uh, can happen, uh, say you know B plus round uh, when your company is more mature, and so you have an approach which is more like this. And we also do a lot of work super early stage when we see something that is super, super important and we, with our experience and the reach and you know, the, 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 the market access skills, the ability to deal with physicians, we are able to reach the MVP much faster. So we are really uh, growing in this space with more mature startups on mm -hmm. one side and super early stage on the other side, which is quite fascinating. And it, you know, it's indicative where, of where the market is today, I think globally, which is, there's this wave of very early stage stuff and we're starting to see now that we're a cycle into this wave of digital health innovation that there are maturing uh, companies and solutions and it's very exciting to see that. Um, 
What are some of the, the things that you're seeing, really what I'm most interested in is the lessons learned, advice that you would share to other entrepreneurs, uh, things that are working or not working, things that they should be doing and thinking about at the very early stage? That's a great question. I think, you know, I give a lot of thought to this and discuss about it. I think, you know, there's one key thing in the early stage that I believe is important is to have a good problem to solve. So um, there are a lot of things that are doing something but are not solving important problems. Mm -hmm. um, and important doesn't mean it's like a huge one or is a super complex one. It's something that is real. It's real for the target audience you are you know, uh, referring to. So it could be true for patients, for caregivers, for physicians. Doesn't matter for you know, multiple audiences. But it's solving something that is not working well or as it should be. You know? I always like to think, you know, we have a wealth of technology to kind of book travels, to transfer money, to, to, to do transportation, all sorts of things. But when it comes to healthcare, we still have, uh, we are, the, the patient is a system integrator within the system, the right. healthcare system, so transport the data all around, and booking is a, is a challenge. Finding the right you know, solution for your problem is a challenge. Understanding which problem do you have is another challenge. You know, there's all of that that you know well. So, the thing is, uh, I think in the early stage, it's very important to have a good problem to solve, whether it's disease-specific, whether it's process-specific, it doesn't really matter. And once the problem is right, then the company, there are a number of then executional steps kind of that need to happen along the journey, but I think you are very much set up for success. If, 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 if you try to bend a piece of technology to find a problem afterwards, I think it's less of a, uh, you know, a, a winner. Uh, if you say, hey, I, I have this, this, even a great team, and then we'll figure out something, I don't think it's the right way right. to go. So I think having a good problem is really like the key thing in the early stage. Wonderful. Um, I wanted to talk briefly about Frontiers, Frontiers yeah. Health. Yeah. Uh, in Berlin, yeah. we're going to be November. doing, <laughs> in November, going to be doing, Startup Health is going to be bringing a bunch of health transformers there. Um, tell us about Frontiers. What's special about it? What's going on Berlin in November? Cool. So Frontiers Health is uh, one of the uh, latest crazy things that I embarked on, uh, as a, a few friends said. Um, honestly, like that was probably uh, three years ago, more or less. We, we really felt that uh, we had some good uh, conference platforms in Europe already. But there was something kind of missing, you know? There was something that we felt was complementary to the others, uh, which we have been always working with. Um, but something that was number one about the ecosystem altogether, so kind of startups, uh, insurance companies, uh, uh, pharma, device, all together, institutions, why not? Last year we had the EMEA for the first time kind of joining. And so we said, we need that. And also we need something that is an experience. So two days where everyone can just hang out with speakers. It's not something that is in and out, and and you can just like not too big, so it's capped to 400 people, so you can really kind of mingle. And there's a plenty of networking time, and it's designed in a way that the 30 startups, the 30 is industry, and the 30 is everything else, including you know uh, venture capital and 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 consultancy and so on and so forth. So healthware uh, is the coast of the of of the conference. Uh, I'm serving as a chairman with a great steering committee. And uh, what happens is basically this. We celebrate the transformation of healthcare, uh, bringing the ecosystem all together, and really fostering connection. So last year was spectacular. A lot of great things happened out of uh, the last year uh, event. And this year we are super excited to have you and uh, you know, the, the army yes. uh, of the Transformers uh, with you. And I think that will be a great, great moment. Very much looking forward to it. Um, only, only sorry, I can't be um, at your 20-year party. Uh, was it July 4th? <laughs> that uh, is in, July 4th, which Italy. is the exact day that, that the company was founded. Uh, uh, very cool. Um, so, last question: um, What do you do? You're traveling all over. What do you do to stay healthy? Um, it's hard as a serial entrepreneur doing many different things, traveling different time zones. How do you stay healthy? 
Um, I would say that I don't like the extremes, so I don't do that diet or that other exercise, that other thing. I try to be like, you know, in a, the, I like to practice moderation. So uh, doing some physical activity, but not crazy stuff that I'm not capable of or maybe not have the time for, but eating, you know, with, with moderation as well and drinking the same way. So I'm trying to stay balanced. Um, but I have to say that uh, I, I issued a, 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 a serious pledge a week ago because I was, I was, uh, there was a few friends from the world kind of angry got together and we had a, a little bit of a two-on-two -two basketball play. Okay. And I was not performing exactly as 10 years ago. So you got to practice. That. So we got to get we, in shape. Yeah, so the challenge is that in a, back in, in, in a year time, we will be back on the same court okay. and uh, uh, around the Amalfi Coast and we'll, 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 we'll play longer. Okay. That, that has gonna, been the thing. Come visit you on the Amalfi yeah. Coast in a year and, and hold yeah. you to that. Make sure you're playing ball uh, and, and fit as a fiddle. Uh, thank you so much. Um, it's great to, to do more together. It's great to spend time with you here in New York. Looking forward to seeing you in Europe um, and um, looking forward to celebrating your, your 20 year uh, birthday from afar. So thank you. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you for having me. Sure.